Hey math kids, today we're in chapter 11, section A, and we're talking about errors in sampling. Before we get into the specific content, we're gonna talk about just a few things. So data is information about the characteristics of a group of individuals. So data is just the stuff you're collecting, okay? Um, so if you ask somebody how tall are they, and you measure how tall they are, um, that would be the data, those numbers that you collect. Okay, categorical uh, variable. So categorical, categorical variable describes a particular characteristic which can be divided into categories. Okay, so um, it can be height, it can be weight, it can be eye color, it can be all that stuff. Okay, now, uh, um, uh, actually, no, it's not. Categorical would be like eye color, hair color, movie preference, things like that. Now, if we're going to a quantitative variable, it's going to be something that is numerical. Okay, so that's going to be height, weight, age, anything like that. Okay, population. Um, an entire collection of individuals about which we want to draw a conclusion. So for just some examples of this, we could have our country. We could just have our school. We could have our class. All of those could be considered populations. Um, census, the collection of information from the whole population. So you have to ask everyone. So if we ask every single person in the country, that's a census. Every person in the school, census. Every person in the class is a census. Now a parameter. Um, a numerical quantity measuring some aspects of the population. So it's just narrowing it down a little bit. Okay, sample. A group of individuals selected from a population. So if our population was the class, maybe we'll only choose five. Now if it's the school, maybe we'll choose 30. If it's the country, we should choose 2,000 or something. So we're just going to choose a portion of that, but we want it, the important thing is that we make it random and unbiased. And that's the real trick to getting a good sample. Um, Now, if we ask a sample, depending on our population, that's called a survey. So we're only going to ask those. So a collection of information from a sample. And then the last word, I'll just write it up here, statistic. Um, a quantity calculated from data gathered from a sample, usually used to estimate a population parameter. So we take the data that we collected from sample using a survey, and we make not a prediction, but we um, we try to say something about the population as a whole based on that statistic. So we'll say like 20% of people like dogs in our school. Okay. All right. Now this section is about errors in sampling, and so. Um, Let's just talk about that, sampling error. So sampling error occurs when a characteristic of a sample differs from that of the whole population. This error is random and will occur even for samples that are well chosen, okay? So it's just something that happened and maybe you're not even sure why it happened, but you know that it's an error 
in how the rest of the population fills. Um, measurement error. So this is not necessarily that you made a mistake in measuring, but it's um, maybe you're measuring the heights of people and you do it to the nearest inch. Not everybody is exactly like 60 inches tall, 65 inches tall. They might be 65 and a half. And so you would round that up to 66. And because of all of that rounding that goes on when you're measuring, it does create measurement errors. Okay, coverage error. Um, so this occurs when a sample does not truly reflect the population we are trying to find information about. To avoid coverage error, sample, the sample should be sufficiently large and unbiased. For example, if we're looking at the health of bees on a particular island, um, if we only collect data from 10 bees, it's not reliable because we didn't get a big enough sample. And then if we only collect data from bees in a single hive, that would be a biased sample because maybe that hive has problems and the rest of them are fine, or maybe that one is fine and there's some other problems in other hives. So you want to make sure that you're randomly selecting bees in that case. And then we have a non-response error. And uh, these are errors that occur when a large number of people selected for a survey choose not to respond to it. For example, an online survey is less likely to be completed by elderly people who are unfamiliar with technology. This means that elderly people will be underrepresented in that survey. In surveys on customer satisfaction, people are more likely to respond if they are unsatisfied. So non-response error is you're trying to randomly select people in a way that they're all represented that every person has an equal chance of taking it. And so like the example with the internet, um, the elderly people will be underrepresented. Now there's no examples in this section, but if you wanna discuss any of these, please come to Math Lab and Calculator.